are. At our home. In our living room. In our living room. In our dining room. With our family. With those we love. Today, wherever you are located, you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. We are still connected. Today, we gather as one body. One body. One body. Because the church is not a building, it has never been. It has never been. We gather today as one church. One church. To lift up one name. The name of Jesus. Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. So wherever you are, today is the day the Lord has made. Today is the day to give Him thanks. So let's unite. One body, let's worship. Let's, let's praise, praise His name. name. worthy of it today and every day because we are still the church we are 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 the church
morning everyone. A beautiful Sunday to every one of us. Today, you are watching The Word for Everyone Church Online. And this is your host, none other than Pastora Polin. So, four days to go na lang. Bye-bye 2020 and hello 2021. So, parang kailan lang, ano? Parang kailan lang nasa Apple View pa tayo. Parang kailan lang, we've welcomed 2020, no? As a one-of-a-kind year. And indeed, it has been. So, parang kailan lang nakatanggap tayo ng mga chicken, fish, eggs, rice, and etc. from the church. Parang kailan lang, di ba? Parang kailan lang ang mga pangarap ay kahirap abutin, di ba? Parang kailan lang. And in just a few days, we will be welcoming another year. Another year full of surprises. 2020 has really brought us a lot of things, di ba? So we also faced various kinds of challenges, most especially this pandemic. So ang dami nating pinagdaanan bilang isang simbahan. Pero salamat ka pamilya, hindi kayo nang iwan. So it's been a tough year for every one of us, even to our church, most especially to the leadership. But with God's grace, here we are, and together as a church, we will overcome 2020. And welcome 2021, full of hope and anticipation in our hearts. So to others, the year 2020 doesn't count now. So, but what I believe is that all things work together for our good. To the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose. And that is found in Romans 8, 28. And I also believe that 2020 is not a wasted year as, every, uh, as other people say. But for me, it's a make or break year. Either you learn or not. Either you grow or remain stagnant. Either you rise or you stay at your level. So it all depends on our choice. So ingon pa sa message last last Sunday ni Bishop Hurley, you will know if someone is wise by the decisions they make. Diba? I hope this year we have been wise in our decisions. But if not, it's not yet too late. But let us learn and move on and face another year. By the way, let me thank everyone who joined yesterday's virtual party. So congratulations sa tanang nadaog o sa tanang nakadawat. Pa burger naman dyan. Ano? So palakpakan na to, ano ang tanang nakadawat o tanang nakadaog. So your attendance and participation made our event possible. Thank you, Kaayo Ted fam. And shout out as well to the people behind, no, the working committee behind this event. So shout out to our program head, na si Teacher Sheng Razo, sa head of promotion, Sister Hannah Marie Protasho, uh, head sa our ways and means, Teacher Mel Osa, and sa, and to the rest of the committee, no. I would like to thank and give a shout out to Ares Anahao, Maishel Anahao, Jade Alcantara, Kim Labite, Mary Joy Casido, Pastor Brian Juarez, and your MC, your host, yours truly, Pastora Pao. And this committee head is headed by none other than Megastar Sharon Cuneta, Pastora Che Juarez. <laughs> So shout out as well to all of our sponsors and to all of our donors out there. Thank you for supporting our event. Dita mo maisa-isa no, but God knows who you are and may God return your generosity a hundred folds. So for our announcements, padayan gihapon ang ato ang nightly prayer that is from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. And this Wednesday, it will be hosted by District 2. 
Also, next Sunday, be excited, Thread Fam, because we will be having a special guest in the name of Bishop Favor Blancas. So I invite, you know, I encourage everyone to invite your friends so that we can all hear this special message sa pagsalubong ng 2021. Also, next Sunday, we will be having our online communion. So please prepare your bread and wine, your biscuit and juice, and for the kids, your cookies and milk so that everyone can participate. Also, we would like to greet our only birthday celebrant now as we end this year. Happy birthday, Tito Arnel Alcantara! Pa burger naman drum! Let's sing of your birthday! They to you and may all your dreams come true. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tito Arnel. And I believe it's now the time as well that we celebrate the goodness of God. So wherever you are right now, I encourage you to get on your feet and let us praise His name. So take it away, bond servants. Come on, 12 Gavamilia, let's all stand and just praise the Lord with our singing and dancing.
everything, Lord. Na nasa mong kasing-kasing, Lord. We just want to seek you, Lord God, with all our hearts. We just want you, God. There's nothing else we want, Lord. No one else we need.
Jesus, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you, nothing else, oh, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you, nothing else. For you, Lord, with our hands lifted high, with our hopes lifted high, Lord, with our praises and hallelujah, so God. In Jesus.
Joanne and worship team for that wonderful worship experience. Yes, we may have gone through a lot of storms this year, but still, we will raise our hallelujahs to God. Let us not let the storms of this life seize our praises to God. Amen ba? So by the way, Tred fam, if you are to recall the things that happened this year, are there things that you are thankful for? Meron ba? So, I believe di lahat ng nangyari ngayong taon e eh, puro negatibo. It's just a matter of how you see things. Diba? So, oftentimes, you always see the bad. We easily recognize the negative. But if you have faith in God, you can still say thank you even in your darkest hour. Because gratitude is an attitude. So it may not be easy, but it's not impossible for us to have a grateful and thankful heart. So just a few reminders on how to watch our online streaming today. Number one, make sure that you have a strong Wi-Fi or data connection. Number two, don't forget to take down notes. Number three, participate actively. Number four, invite your friends or simply tag them one by one. And number five, don't ever forget to host a watch party so that your online friends can join us today. And without further ado, help me welcome the Senior Pastor of the Word for Everyone Davao, Reverend Blair Chorus. Good morning! Mayong buntag, ganin yung tanan. And um, I'm happy to be back after three months, not more than three months. I was not able to speak uh, uh, during Sunday service. But today, um, I'm back officially. And uh, I, I pray that today, you will learn a lot from the topic that I'm going to share. So... Um, to open up everything, let's bow down our heads and pray. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful day that you've given to us. Thank you, Lord, for this brand new day. Lord, it's 27th of December. Lord, the last Sunday of the year. But we believe, Lord God, there are more in store for us, Lord. Because as what people will say, that we have to save, Lord, the best for last. We thank you, even for this morning, oh God. Thank you for these people who are with us today. I pray that you will bless them. I pray that they will receive something, Lord God, from you, Lord, before we will move on from 2020 to 2021. We thank you, Lord God, and we bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Happy New Year, Satanan! Uh, Nakikuban ka na to, karong buntaga. No, I, I believe that you have a wonderful Christmas celebration. You have just celebrated uh, your Christmas uh, sa mga balay-balay. Ang uban nga nakasibat, nga nakaadto sa laing dapit. No, uh, you are blessed because you were able to go to another place to spend your Christmas with your family. Karong Domingo, ha? I am going to start a series, okay? It is a four-Sunday series, okay? With Thanksgiving, celebrations are just around the corner and it's still going on. I would like to share Thanksgiving series messages to help our church recognize and celebrate God's gifts because it is very important that we have to recognize God as the owner, as the author and the finisher of all the gifts that we have today. In connection to the message that I am going to share to you today, I have invited two of our Kapamilyas from the Word for Everyone Dabao or Tweg Kapamilya to share their testimonies regarding the goodness of God in their lives amidst this pandemic. And they, we, they are here today 
to give glory and honor to God as a gratitude. I hope and pray that you will be encouraged by their testimonies. Please watch these videos. Mayong buntag mga Iksoon. Uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, Dunay uh, tulo ka butang nga ako ang pasalamatan sa tuig 2020. Una, mapasalamatan ko sa Ginoo tungod kay um, uh, we are uh, protected by God kaliwala sa sa pandemic karon nga tuig, wala na kasakit sa akong pamilya. Intak mi tanan sa amo ang panimalay ug uh, dunay uh, tagaan mi maayong panglawas kanunay ug sa amo kong mga biyahe protection sa sa amo biyahe wala mga aksidente sa kanunay namo pag travel sa kalsada and then ikaduha pasalamatan namo ang Ginoo tungod kay siya kanunay naga uh, provide and uh, siya pud naga bless sa amo ang amo ang business nga nagapadayon uh, maayo ang sales uh, bisan tuod og medyo um, ipit sa collection this year but uh, salamat kay naami mga coming collections gyapon nga amo ang uh, amo ang buwaton uh, this year or next year ikatulo uh, i thank god tungod kay um, sa mga butang nga among nadawatan this year uh, gitagaan mi niya og uh, duha ka brand new car this year og uh, na kakuha mi og og lote og uh, house and lot uh, lote og balay nga hapit na pud mahuman so, hopefully, ma humana na siya para makatransfer na po mi. And, uh, mapasalamatan ko sa Gino tungod kay siya yun nag-provide, uh, no? Bisang taliwala sa mga problema. O, uh, salamat mi kay uh, this year po day, last July um, 2020, we officially registered our uh, new business. Second na mga business um, ang construction uh, nga nag generate sa og more than 20 ka employment. So, pasalamat mi na yung kabayan sa mga tao nga pag-provide sa ilang inadlaw-adlaw nga panginahanglan nun. O, uh, siguro sa kabutang nga, kung pasalamatan ko nun, I, I always uh, uh, remember God sa sumala sa ginyo sa Bible, uh, for you shall remember God who gives you the ability to produce wealth. So, every time na aming mga dawatan sa amuang, sa amuang negosyo, sa amuang ginabuhi, we always acknowledge na si Lord God ang amo ang uh, great provider uh, pabor lang yun ni Lord ang naa inubanan po dayon sa atong mga pagkugi sa atong pagtrabaho tungod kay si Lord mas mo bless siya sa mga tao nga kugihan o uh, manggihatagon so mapuna ang amo ah, ang prinsipyo is uh, kung naami blessing we always also uh, share our blessings to uh, our friends and families so I hope and pray nga uh, sana all we will experience uh, the tangible blessings of God and also sa ato ang uh, kinabuhi o sa ato ang pamilya nga uh, sa mga panalangin kanunay. So hopefully this coming 2021 ang ginoong magpanalangin kanatong tanan o uh, ma-enjoy na to ang iyahang blessing o ang iyang giingon nga uh, He wants us to live uh, life abundantly. So, God bless everyone. Okay, good morning everyone. So, uh, is there anything good in 2020? So, uh, na ako share nga three uh, big things nga that happened to me in the year 2020. So, number one, good, na pinaka big thing good nga naitambu sa kuwang kinabuhi karong tuiga is that I am still alive. Yes. Uh, when when COVID started, no, uh, around March in the Philippines, tapos sa mga succeeding weeks na namin na yung mga nangamatay ng mga doktor, mga nurses, mga doktor yun, uh, grabe ito anxiety sa mga, no, sa medical field. No? Murag na kaingon ko yun ito nga, ang sanin, murag, so muna yung murag, nga hurot naman si Kurtani. And then, um, it was very difficult to grab it took pressure grab it took, uh, i wasn't able to, to i i was able to i, I intentionally not uh, showed it to to my family to to my friends kay 
uh, kabalo ko nga kung magpakita ko nga na worried ko ana ana ma, mas ma worry po sila pero kami gyud adto sa medical field grabe tug anxiety no uh, sa kuang part uh, dili lang siya dili lang siya sa ako ang behalf but also for the people that I handle no sa hospital ng mga doctors na mo, mga nurses mga staff no sa Genesis uh, tapos ang risk magud adto pod if, if if ever walay mga measures button uh, basig may mo pa kong career mas spread pa na ako sa akong family so mo gina siya pinaka first big thing na I am I am okay no today to date no and uh, still i will always be okay no? by god's protection god's grace ogna si number one nga big thing na itabo second thing is that my family is okay uh, wala gyud nagkasakit akong pamilya no? wala nagkasakit pud akong ginikanan those who are close to me wala gyud uh, god really protected them god really covered them by his precious blood uh, despite sa sa risk of exposure nako na wala good uh, they are they are okay that is a very big thing for me to see my children happy my, my wife uh, my parents they are all good and the third thing are all the material blessings can receive namo karon tuiga uh, to be honest medyo lisod jud karon nga year kay pandemic lagi no daghang pasyente dili kabayad uh, private practice minus pod kay dili man kay may magopera no unless emergency pero despite that Uh, still, God is, is really faithful. No? Na he really provided more than enough na? to the point na nakaparenovate mis mong balay, uh, nakapalit ng mga butang-butang adugay na namo mong desire uh, na ako yung mga bag ng gamit. Uh, tapos, uh, financially po, nakaipon, pumig, uh, puminaipon. So, financially, actually, this is a very blessed, blessed year, no? Ang ang mahalin tulad lang nako is yung time of uh, Moses, ay eh, time of uh, Joseph no na sila sa Goshen atong despite nga nagka uh, famine sa entire Egypt na sila sa Goshen nga nindot kay ilang lugar dito still provided everything and provide ng mga, mga butang and then uh, well all I can say to, with this is that uh, I can only give all the glory and honor to the Lord no. Uh, ang ako alang maingon na na sikreto ani, eh, hindi mo siguro sikreto, walang tatanan na ang um, our daily walk with Jesus Christ no. Mo gina siya. Kay every morning gyud akong ginabuhat is uh na jud ko devotionals no. I read the Bible ano. Ang ako dire, manhimo na ko ni kay mag devotional mo karon. And then uh, I always communicate with the Lord every morning. Every day. Tapos mo gina. If I could miss everything, ayaw lang yun ni. And then, uh, it should always manifest in our faithfulness to the Lord. No, One way to to show our faithfulness with God is through our giving. No? So, muna akong maingon nga, karon wag yung reason nga di ko mag first fruit next year. Kaya, sobra-sobra uh, pa ang, sobra-sobra pa pa ang lihatag sa, sa ginoo. No? Sa ako ang ipangayo. So, Kaya no, uh, daily walk with the Lord and faithfulness in Him as manifested in our giving sa so, kuwang kinabuhi. Uh, Kaya lang, no? And, uh, and my confidence is that uh, in the succeeding days, succeeding years, the Lord will always be with me sa everything that He will do. Thank you and uh, God bless. Thank you very much, Dr. Himes Russell and congratulations for your new job or new assignment. I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you. The Lord will just give you wisdom on your new assignment. And to Brother Archie Pangon, thank you very much also for sharing to us your such a wonderful testimony, a very inspiring testimony. And I hope and pray that those testimonies for Doc Himes and Archie would really uh, bless us and inspire us today. In the 18th century classic, a serious call to a devout and holy life by William Law. William Law made the following statement. Listen to this. 
Would you know who is the greatest saint in the world? It is not he who prays most or fast most. It is not he who gives most alms or is most eminent for temperance, chastity, or justice. But it is he who is always thankful to God, who wills everything that God wills, who receives everything as an instance of God's goodness and as a heart always ready to praise God for it. Could you therefore work miracles? You could not do more for yourself than by this thankful spirit. For it turns all that it touches into happiness. According to what William Law have written in this statement, sinabi niya rito, Who would you or would you know who is the greatest saint in the world, kinsa ba ang pinaka maayo or kinsa ba ng greatest, pinakabantugan nga um, santo din sa kalibutan. Ingon siya, dili katong mga tao nga nagaampo permanente. Dili katong mga tao nga nagapuasa permanente. Ingon siya, dili po katong mga tao nga kusog mo hatag sa oglimos sa mga kabus o labaw ng dili katong mga tao na nagahatag o justice sa mga tao nga nanginahanglan niini. But it is He who is always thankful to God. In short, gratitude is the name of the game. Ibig sabihin, no ang kasing-kasing nga mapasalamaton diha sa Ginoo maoy ginatawag nga greatest saint in the world katong mga tao nga sama kanimo og sama kanako nga naminaw karon nga permanenteng gapasalamat og gadaig sa atong buhi nga Dios ikaw o ako ang mga bantugan nga mga buhing santo ingon pa ni Apostle Paul ingon pa ni Pablo diha sa iya mga sinulat we are called the living saints kita mga buhing santo so dili kinahanglan nga magantos para mahimong santos because by virtue of what Christ had done on the cross no we became the living saints according to William Law he makes a great point here When you see God at work and respond to what He is doing with thankfulness instead of resistance, you will develop many other virtues He describes. Ang buot pasabot nini ang taong mapasalamaton daghang maayong kinaiya na iyahang maipakita sa katawan. No, this being grateful or being thankful will continue to multiply in other virtues. That is why today, I would like to share a message in my Thanksgiving series 1. It is entitled, Developing a Grateful Heart. Say it with me. Developing a Grateful Heart. So, ibig sabihin, pwedeng mapag, uh, anong tawag nito? pwede nating pag-insayuhan paano magiging uh, thankful. Ano ba yan sa Bisaya? Kung sabi na sa Bisaya, mapasalamaton. But I was having a hard time no, looking for the exact translation sa Cebuano ang grateful. Uh, I don't know. Kung sa nang grateful. The Hebrew term for gratitude, no, I really make a research on this. Because I know that my friend, I hope that my friend in Las Vegas, Nevada are watching tonight. Our uh, friend, uh, brother or professor Richard Novik. The Hebrew term for gratitude is hakarat hatub. Hakarat hatub. Which literally translates to 
recognizing the good. Wow! As we begin to recognize the good, even in small ways, it will undoubtedly lead us to noticing the good in other areas of our lives. Gratitude affirms. It has a way of multiplying. Kaya nasabi ko kanina, if you are grateful, if you are a man who is always grateful and thankful, it will continue to multiply in other virtues. As we profess gratitude, the more reasons we will find to be thankful. Pag atong permanentihon nga usa kita ka tao nga mapasalamaton kanunay no daghang gitag makit-ang mga butang sa atong kinabuhi nga dapat natong pasalamatan nganha sa Ginoo just like the acquisition of most virtues you can't instantly become thankful you only become thankful when you habitually practice gratitude in your life tinuod ni Hangtod dili ni mo praktison ang kinaiya nga mapasalamaton never good nga mahimo kang usa ka tawo na puno sa pagpasalamat. Attitude of gratitude as a lifestyle. Hindi lang ito yung bang lulubog lilitaw. Ngayon, ngayon masyado kang grateful And then later on, wala na marinig sa iyo. Pag meron ka natanggap, wala ka namang sinasabi. Kahit magsabi na lang ng a simple thank you. Thank you for the effort. Thank you for, you know, spending time with me today. Yung mga tipong ganun. Pag hindi mo iniinsayo yan sa buhay mo, pag hindi mo palaging ginagawa yan, it will never become your attitude. Because attitude of gratitude is a lifestyle. I would like to ask you to open with me your Bibles. If you have your Bibles with you, okay, don't just depend on, you know, the verses that we will be putting on the screen. But you have to have your Bibles with you. Kung meron kang cellphone dyan, buksan mo naman doon sa iyong Bible app. Now, if you have a Bible app, La uh, buksan mo doon sa sa 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 34. I'll be having two uh, scriptures, two different scriptures, two different books that we are going to read today. 1 Chronicles, the first one is in 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 34. 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 34. Oh, give thanks to the Lord For He is good. Hallelujah. For His steadfast love endures forever. Ulitin ko po. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For He is good. For His steadfast love endures forever. Ephesians 5, verses 18 to 20. It says here, And do not get drunk with wine. For that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. Capital S, take note of that. Addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. Giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everything good in your life comes from God. Lahat ng magagandang bagay na nangyayari sa buhay natin ay galing sa Diyos at sa Diyos lamang. James chapter 1, verse 17. We'll grow closer to God when we understand this truth and build our lives around it. Okay? Mutubo daw ta o mahimong mahiduol ta sa ginoo. Okay? We'll grow closer to God when we understand this truth and build our lives around it. Mahimong mutubo ta sa atong pagtuo din na sa ginoo o mahimong mahiduol ta pag-ayos sa ginoo pag nasabda na ito ang kamatuuran 
o ginahinay nga atong i atong itukod ang atong kinabuhi dinha sa atong nasabtan unsa ba atong nasabtan that everything good in our lives comes from God hallelujah this morning i would like to go straight to the uh you know principles We would like to I would like to go straight to the principles that could really help us you no know, in developing a heart of gratitude. Developing these habits can help us become more thankful. Take note of this. I think I have six principles or six habits. Number one, regularly practice giving thanks. Tinod ni kakanunay o sa kanunay himua ang pagbansay-bansay sa kanunay mapasalamatong kinabuhi. Grabe, no? Arang kalalong. Arang kalalong sa Bisaya, pagbansay-bansay. No? Maria na sa atong ginaingon na atong pagatukpion ang mga pulong sa Diyos bulahan ugma mahipatik kini sa pamantalaan. <laughs> Grabe. Regularly practice giving thanks. Regularly. Say to me, regularly. Oh, magamay madako ang imong panalangin, magamay madako ang pabor nga imong nadawat, dapat magbansay-bansay ka sa pagsulti og salamat. Okay? Oh, we should make A habit of expressing gratitude. Make it a habit. Take note of what I've said. The attitude of gratitude must be a lifestyle. Kanunay. Kay mo nangingon sa world na regularly practice giving thanks. Thankfulness rather than criticism should be our default position. Tama. Instead na magreklamo, magbagulpul, magbagutbut, na yawa ray mahimuot, dapat mapasalamaton nga kasing-kasing o mapasalamaton na kinabuhi. When you see something good in your life, point it out. Tama. Karun, karun nga panahon, it's easy for us to look for a mistake and make it blow up. No? Pariya itong nahitabo atong healings, no? No, atong, atong pagpusil sa pulis na way puangod na pulis pero take note of this hindi lahat ng pulis salbahe maraming mga pulis na busilak ang puso tandaan nyo yan hindi lahat ng pastor yabag na po mga pastor nga tarong hallelujah <laughs> no, pari-pari yun lang na no, munang mingo ng mga bala kay kuwan mo kuna siya dili eh No, that's that's that, that's the uh, you know a, a, a huge argument between the Muslims and the Christians. Ang mga Kristiyano mingo na daghangil mga Muslim nga yabag. Kay ngano sa Kristiyano wala yabag na apoy daghan oy. Pero mas daghan ang tarong. Same thing sa Muslim. Daghang mga Muslim nga buutan. Daghang mga Muslim nga tarong ang panguna-una. Wala laing huna-una kon dili negosyo. Magnegosyo lang yun sila because they are merchants. No? Like the Maranaos, they are merchants. Di sila ganahag bubot. Gusto nila mag-business lang. Na yung mga Muslim ngayon na na sama sa so Kristiyano. Mauna, wag nating lahatin. Ito ay uh, a, a simple reminder. No? Sa so mga, kasi may nababasa ako dyan, hindi, basta polis, yung una na yun, hindi na tinood. Di ba? Dagong ko kami ko nga pulis, na yung mga general nga pulis. Remember, no, I was pastoring, I was an associate pastor before in Fort Bonifacio. Mga kauban namo nga mga general sa kampo, mga born again. And these generals are really spreading the word of God during that time. I've known of some policemen, no, bago lang nag-retire, si Brigadier General Restituto uh, Gatera. No, si Sir Gatera, he is a straightforward na policeman who graduated with flying colors in the Philippine National Police. Marami dyan. Maraming mababait na 
mga pulis. Okay? When you see something good in your life, point it out. Muna, pag na ay maayong ang mabuhat, i-blow up da yun. I-shout out da yun. Pag na ay mga butang sa imong kinabuhi, nga gihimo ang ginoo, gihimo ang usa ka tawo sa imo, muna siya ang ipadako. Dili ang mga binuang nga butang. Dili ang mga sayop. Ingon siya Apostle Paul, meditate on these things. What are those things? Those things that are of good report. Those things that are praiseworthy. Sabi niya, meditate on these things. Ibig sabihin, you blow up the good news. You promote, you know, the good things that people have done for you. No, pwede ni mo nang i-shout out sa imuhang FB timeline. Thank God for it. We all complain occasionally. Tinood na, no, most of the time, naman kita yung mga complaints. No one among us here are not guilty. All of us are guilty. No, because from time to time, we have complaints. Especially now in this pandemic. No, the way we respond to the government, the way we respond to the mayor, the way we respond to the, all of the EOs that are uh, for us are not relevant, for us are not really uh, need, uh, uh, not really um, applicable, not effective, okay? We, we always have the, you know, the, the, the rights to make complaints. But practice responding to your own complaining by finding things to be thankful for. Kung nama kay mga complaints, pangita po dog pamahagi nga na kay makitang maayo taliwala sa imong reklamo. This helps to rewire your brain to be as proficient at recognizing the good in your life as you are at identifying the bad. Make it a habit. Yun ang pinaka point doon. Make it a habit. Gratitude is also means by which the attitude of our hearts is right. In other words, the act of thanksgiving creates a baseline for a positive outlook, instills hopefulness, and renders humility. Tinood na. Ang usa ka mapasalamaton nga kinabuhi o usa ka mapasalamaton na tao kanunay nagamugna og positibo nga panglantaw sa kinabuhi o kini nagatanom o nagatisok sa mga kasing-kasing sa mga tao o paglaom o labaw sa tanan ang mapasalamaton nga kinabuhi maoy nagadala ka nato ngadto sa pagpaubos hallelujah Philippians 4:6 to 7. Philippians 4:6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, say it with me. Say it with me. In every situation, sa tanang higayon, sa tanang panahon, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Gratitude evokes and inspires a response. Okay? Uspunako. Gratitude evokes and inspires a response. Ang mapasalamaton na tao kanunang makadawat o sukli no? nga maayo nga urbanos nga maayo nga response. It motivates us to appreciate what we have today and put sincere effort into making the most out of a situation. And gratitude awakens us to value each day that we are given and live with appreciation. Ang taong mapasalamaton, ang taong kanunay naga appreciate sa mga butang nagihimo sa Ginoo sa kinabuhi. 
kanunay panalanginan sa Diyos. Hallelujah. Ikaw ba na? Ingnay mo tapan niya. Ikaw ba na? <laughs> Giving thanks is prompted when we receive something good which we don't deserve. Most especially the unmerited favor of God. He is boundless. He is boundless and amazing grace. Hallelujah. Number two. No? Number one is regularly practice giving thanks. And number two, express gratitude regardless of the situation. Oh. Minsan ito yung missing link. Paul tells the Thessalonians to give thanks in all circumstances because God wills it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Why? We never see the full, the full picture. We can look at every situation and clearly understand why it's happening. We can only know God is at work in these situations and working them out for our good and His glory. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Okay? That, uh, ano ba nakalagay dyan sa Romans 8, 28? Ano nakalagay dyan? Sige na. Hmm? All things work together for good to them that love God and who are called according to His purpose. So, ibig sabihin, hindi man maganda ang sitwasyon na nangyari sa buhay mo ngayon, try to look at the big picture. Maybe there's a big picture that God wanted to create in your life. And you can trust God in Romans 8.28 that all things, say it with me, all things, okay, all things work together for good. All things work together for the good of those who are called, who love God, and who, those who are called according to His purpose. Regardless of what's happening, we can thank God for His presence. He is redeeming the situation and sustaining us through it. Tinood na siya. Bisan padili mayo ang atong sitwasyon karon, pero atong pangitaon ang nindot na plano sa ginoo base sa iyahang mga pulong na iyang sinulat. On our own, we focus on the current situation. Tinood na. Kita man God, kasagaran sa tuwa kay near-sighted. Oh. Kanang near-sighted, di ba? Ang makita lang ni mo, kanang nasa imong luol. Pero na yung mga tao nga far-sighted. Oh. Kanang mga lagyo nga butang, klaro nila, murag ako ba? Tanggalo na ko niya kung antipara, makita na ko ning outline. Pero kung akong isot ang antiparang, ibutang na ko diri sa ako ang plat, sa ako ang pulpito, hindi na na ako mabasa. <laughs> no? Mauna nga, na yung mga tao nga nearsighted, ang mga naka, na, na lang sa ilang palibot, ang kaya lang sa ilang makita, mauray ilahang gituhuan na pwedeng may tabo silang kinabuhi. But take note of this. Okay? Faith is believing on things not seen or unseen things in our lives. God has a big picture. God has a big plan for your life. Always trust God that one day the Lord will bring you into that big picture. We rise above the situation when we purposely look for what God is doing in the middle of it. Tinood na. Kung na kayo usa ka sitwasyon karon nga medyo dili maayo, no? Pangita ang plano sa Ginoo din na. Pangita ang iyahang uh, kamot, no? Unsay pangitaon ang kamot, pastor? No? Pangita ang paglihok sa Ginoo din na sa imong sitwasyon. Look for the move of God. Look for the hand of God in your situation. Na bisan ningon ana ang nahitabo, bisan na positibo ka sa COVID pero naka-recover ka. Nay uban nga wala. You are still blessed. No, if you are listening to me today, no halimbawa nag 
na, na yung mga pastor or pastors na nagpositibo pero naka-recover. Pero na po yung mga pastors na akong amigo na na COVID tapos wala na yun, naka-recover. For those who have recovered, you are still blessed. When you are at the isolation room and when you are alone with God, you are trying to discover why God allowed these things to happen. And you have discovered that instead of asking why, you were able to ask God what? No, instead na mga tanak ka, gano'n man Lord, gano'n ako man, gano'n na itabu man eh, gano'n siya man, gano'n man, nga dili si Kuan. But you start to discover na dili di ay insakto ang pangutana nga no, kung dili ang insakto nga pangutana unsa or what is your purpose? What is your plan, Lord God, in the midst of my suffering? Hallelujah. Usa ka bang giitan na manunulat na gihingan nag A.W. Tuzer says, mo niyang iyahang gisulti. Perhaps it takes a purer faith to praise God for unrealized blessings than for those we once enjoyed or those we enjoy now. Uulitin ko po. A.W. Tuzer says, Perhaps it takes a purer faith to praise God for unrealized blessings that for those who once enjoyed or those we enjoy now. Kinahanglan daw magkaroon yung kag tunhay or putli na pagtuo. Hallelujah. No? Para madiskubrihan ni mo ang wala pang na-reveal na mga blessings nga imong gi-enjoy tong una o karon dapat ni mong i-enjoy. Number three, praise God when all is well. Ah, mauni siya ang usaka habit na dapat natong i-practice. Kaganina, number one, regularly practice giving thanks. Number two, express gratitude regardless of the situation. Always positive looking. But number three, praise God when all is well. Bitaw, no? Ako gitag pasalamat sa gino kay sugod ka ron, no? Kani ako permanente ginasulti sa ako mga amigo, mga kaila, na kabalo ba ka nga more than 8,000 na ang nangamatay ka ron sa Tibok, Pilipinas? And almost half a million na ang positibo and 23,000 of these are active cases. Kabalo ba ka niya na? Na sa Tibuok Dabaw, nag-champion na po ang Dabaw sa pipila ka mga adlaw nga nilabay. Mupahuay lang isa doon ka adlaw, pag ikatulog ka adlaw, resurrect na po. Number one na po ng Dabaw. 125 na po, 152 na po. And there was a time not more than 200 plus. But you know what? Bisag nagbalibali na, nagpulipuli ng statistics din na sa COVID-19 updates. Hallelujah! Salamat sa ginoo. No? Daligon ang Diyos. Daligon ang Diyos. Nga naman, wala ka na appeal dito. Sa statistics, wala ka na positibo, wala ka na PUI, wala ka na PUM. Tungod kay giproteksyonan ka sa ginoo. Praise God when all is well. Hallelujah! Galit ka, Pastor. Hindi. <laughs> you may believe this is obvious, but it's critical we do it. Oh, tama. Usahin mong kutungot kay, ah, normal man, wala magigunyagig, sakit mo nang, murak wala lang. Uy! Paminaw! Ayun, sige, cellphone dia. Oh. Sige, kong istorya diri. Sige po, kang scroll down dia. Paminaw. No? No? Pasalamatan ni mo ang ginoo kay hangtod karon wa kay covid. Ha? Huh? 
Muna atong dapat pasalamatan. Ayun na sige ko na una. Eh, wala mang ko na rilisag bonus. Naay na rilisag bonus atong Disembre 2. Pero namatay atong Disembre 13. Pili. Naay bonus na mamatay o buhi. No? Why COVID? Bisag why bonus. Pili e daw. Ha? Pila raman ng bonus. Ang importante nga maayog lawas ikaw o ang tibok ni mong pamilya, wala na positibo. Palakpakan na ito ang ginoon niya na. Hallelujah! We're conditioned to believe that life will go well for us. Usay mang gudanan na mang gudta. Pamilya na kayo ta sa mga panalangin sa gino. Nga to the extent, nga di na ito magpasalamat. Uy, nako. Malingaw na lang tag sigig dula sa itong cellphone. Malingaw na lang tag sigig Facebook. Wala naman lang gani ta kapasalamat sa Gino Lord salamat kay buhi pa koron. Lord salamat nga nakamata pa ko. Salamat Gino. Nga tibuok na akong pamilya bisan ako mga anak nagagawas kay nagatrabaho para uli nila ni Gino covid free gyapon sila Gino tungod sa imuhang proteksyon. Na sulti ba ta ana? O naanad na lang ta. Pamilya na lang kay ta kay tungod ginaproteksyonan ta sa Gino. Mura ba ka ng ubang mga anak bitaw? Karong COVID, no? Karong ubang mga anak ba? Ah, palitan sila o oh, kanang sapato sa ilang papa. Maning na, ah, paumang gina yung ginahimo kada Pasko. Sapato sila pa rito. Wa na magilain, anak. No, grabe. Pasalamat ka. Kay pwede pa ka mapalitan sa patos. Kasi naman ko yung mga kailang, wa na itiil. Hmm. Di nagit sila, bisampag na sila ikapalit, pero di nagit sila mapalit ang sapatos. Kaya wala na may suutan. Muna dapat ang atong pangitaon, mga egzoon. Praise God when all is well. When life runs smoothly, we don't tend to see this as God's gift to us. Mao, 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 good. Saleluya. Igo, igo, tani. Apil ko, ani. No, usay makalimot tagpasalamat sa mga simpleng butang. Ayaw. Kaya ang 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 no, ang mga taong mapasalamaton sa gagmayng butang, daghang dagkong butang ang gianda mang sa Ginoo, ang gianda mang Ginoo para sa ilaha. Amen ba? Kanino yan? Amen. Hallelujah. Bibo kay Midri sa studio mga Ikson. <laughs> We don't see how he protects and guides us. Along the way to green pastures and still waters. Tinood na ba? No, hantud karon ng atong kinabuhi are like still waters. Wow, tunay kayo nga kinabuhi. Hayahay kay nga kinabuhi. Wala man siguro idaghang kwarta sa bangko. Wala man siguro idaghang pagkaon sa refrigerator. Pero puno sa proteksyon o paghigugma sa ginoo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Kaundangon ako. Gusto na akong maglusing prayer. Pero napa ikaw pat, my son. Learn to see how bad experiences can produce good outcomes. Whoa! Kaganina, if all is well, praise the Lord our God. But din sa ikaw pat, kinahanglan ni sa atong effort. Kinahanglan ni sa atong pagtuo. Kinahanglan ni positibo nga panlantaw. Number four, learn to see how bad experiences can produce good outcomes. We should all take some time to consider the benefits of the difficult times in our lives. No? Kinahanglan, tanaw ni mo, uy, medyo pitsido man kaya kung kinabuhi, karon financially. Unsa may ginatudlo sa ginoo sa kuhanin? Tanawa, unsay benepisyo sa imuhang giantos nga kalisod karon, sa imuhang uh, lisod na, na panginabuhi, or difficult times ni mo karon siguro, tanawa on sa imong mabenepisyo, na maybe you will, you know, you will learn how to become patient. You will learn how to wait on the Lord. You will learn how to believe in God in difficult times. Mao ni mga butangan ni nga, wala ka ani, kay naanad man ka, kay nagpangayaw ni mo, nada yun. Pero karon gialaw sa gino, na tawad-tawad na ka na ngayo, pero wala pa niya gihatag. And then you will learn to wait patiently. Remember, okay? Being patient is a good virtue. 
After a period away from the situation, we should be able to see the good that came out of those experiences. Oh, tinood na. No? Sa imuhang mga experience karon sa COVID, ang uban, wala ang trabaho, ang uban, tungod ana, nadol kas ginoo. Katong, katong mga wala ka atin sa prayer online every day, katong nawad ang trabaho, sige na katin. Sige na prayer request. Oh. Mabita o sahay, makaingon ko ba? Hindi man siguro daw tan, Lord, no? Nga, kanang, imobot silang kuhiton. Labi na itong mga leaders ngawa na atin atin. Kumusta na mo diha? Domingo lang kinatangan. No? Namang ko ilistahan. No? Sa mga wala na gaten sa prayer meeting, na ko ilistahan. Sa tanang na gaten, nga leaders, na ko ilistahan. Pero sa wala na gaten, sorry na lang. No? I'm a just tatay. Uh, mao na kabalo ko kanadlaw ko ako ko nagashare kita na ko mga pangalan mao mao ra mga dagway pero kaloy sa Ginoo kay wagyo ko nasawa aning nila nagsamot pa ko na higugma ni mga tawhana kay mao ra ni sila mga tawhana ang kanunay naga silip naga uban sa mo mao ra mga pangalan na Mary Joy Casido Wilmer Usa um, Pauline Sambrano Bing uh, Unsa ni kay pilido ni nanay? Ani mami kuan? No? Nama Anabel Abian, Rebecca Gonzales, um, no, kana si Pebi Moreno. Uh, halos mamimoray sa ori tanan ba? Buboy Dabo, Lorenzana Gabo, Dabo. Uh, mo Andre Swayan, naguban na lang ang cellphone mo nang naabsent na siya pila ka higayon ron. Mo lang timan ini. Timan ini. Ha? Ayaw hulata na manguhit ang ginoo ni mo. Mailhan man ako na kanabitong nanguhit na ang ginoo kay mukalit na mag-team dito sa kuhan. No? Bortokloy, watching. Uy! <laughs> Nanay problema sa Bortokloy. No? Ah, kanabang no, si Pilispuro Ugpot, watching. Lokresya Bongot, watching. <laughs> na ano yung mga problema ni, kaya nag-watching naman. Yung wabang gini makitaan permanente sa online prayer meeting. No? Ay, kabi, akong mother-in-law, permanente na. Mawala lang na siya kung maputlan sila internet. No? Kung wala na bayran niya, balik na yun, pagkaugma, bayran na yun na. Ah, na yun si Nanay Mimerns. Grabe na eh. Champion yun ka sa muang online. No? Mag-atang na siya. Usahay, usahay, mapas mo siya kay Lugay, mampun magsugod ko ng uban, oy. No, sa mampun ni si Pastor Rao, si Pastor Lugay, mampun mo online. Mahuman alas no, ibinapsado kay Lugay nakasugod. But you know, I know who you are. No. Pinakadaghan na ng 35 kataong nag-aten. Ha? Mauna nga, kutob sa nag-aten, isen na mo ang among pahalipay kaninyo, pinagi sa inyong jikas. O, oh, di ba? Oh, <laughs> Taga mo ni Pastor Rachi o oh, one million nga pag-ampo. <laughs> Bitaw, tinood na. Often, you'll be able to see how those bad experiences help you gather strength and momentum for future blessings in your life. Tinood na. Kani mga tao nga kanuna yung pangita sa kaayuhan, sa ginoo, taliwala sa di maayong sitwasyon sa ilang kinabuhi, mo kini mga tawhana ang ginapangita sa Diyos. Hallelujah. Ginapangita sa Diyos kay gusto niya marilisan o panalangin bago matapos ang tuig mil or did I mil? No? Bago matapos ang tuig uh, uh, 2020. Oh. Regardless of that, learning to see past trials through eternity's perspective enables us to be more thankful during times of struggle. Tinood ni, kaning mga panahon sa kalisod, kung ang imong focus mahitungod sa, imong, sa eternal plan of God, you will surely overcome. You will not just endure, but still you will enjoy the goodness of the Lord. You will be able to see those things. Nga mga maayong butang, 
hopeful gyapon ka, nga naman, kabalumang ka, unsay ending sa imuhang kinabuhi. Hallelujah. Number five, make gratitude a part of your interactions with other people. Tinood na, lili lang ka mapasalamaton sa ginoo, kinahanglan, mag-practice po ka, magbansay-bansay ka, mag-insayo ka sa pagpasalamat sa bang tao, bisan sa gagmayang butang, gipasahan ka glod na 50 pesos, pasalamati ng tao nga naghatag sa imog glod, gipasahan ka glod na 30 pesos, pasalamati, gihapon ng 30 pesos, nga naman, kaya kung huwag ka giludan niya 30 pesos, karong adlawa, di ka ka-text, di ka ka-online. Make gratitude a part of your interactions with other people. Gratitude should impact both our relationship with God and our relationships with other people. Ang taong uh, puno sa pagpasalamat, labi na sa obang tao, nga nagahatag, nagabulig sa ilaha. Oh, Ingong pa siya ilunggo. Amugya ni, ang nagabulig sa amun. O, oh, di ba? Katong mga nagatabang sa imuha, pasalamati sila. Wala sila naghulat sa imong ibalos. Naghulat lang sila sa imong simple o mapaobsanon na pagpasalamat. Your simple word of thank you. That's the thing that they have been waiting for. Dr. Rick Warren, the author of The Purpose Driven Life, once said, To appreciate means to raise in value. That's not only true of things, it's true of people. Wow! Tinood, no? Tama si Dr. Rick Warren. To appreciate means to raise in value. When you appreciate somebody, you literally raise their value. We ought to appreciate people because it increases their self-worth. Kabalo ka kung magpasalamat ka sa usa ka tao, imong giangat ang iyahang balor. Unsay balor, pastor? Okay? Ang iyahang pagka siya. Iyahang worth or self-worth. Make it a regular practice to say thank you to people in your life. Often, the people we express gratitude with the least in our lives are those the closest to us. Uy, mauni siya ang atua sigurong kinahanglan bantayan. Kasi garan daw, katong mga tao nga di na ito mapasalamatan, malimta na itong pasalamat, katong mga tao nga close at ua. Kano man? Sama sa kong gingong kaganina, naanad na magunta. Naanad na tanga, na sila permanente. No? Naanad na tanga, bisa kung sa'yo mga mga tabuwa, naagad sila. Mauna sa'yo makalimot, tagingon nga, salamat for being with me. Diba? Basing kahulat sila ni Hana. Unya ka ng imong isulti, makadugang ka na. No? Sa ilahang self-esteem. Makadugang ka na sa pagdasig kanila. Sa pagbuhat o maayo. Basin usa ka na nga makatukmod kanila. No? Sa pagpanalangin po sa obang tao. Lili lang sa imo, kung dili sa obang tao. Tungod kay nalipay sila sa imong gisulti daghang salamat last but not the least lean into the strength gratitude provides ano ibig sabihin yan pastor I know many people who have been through extremely tough situations I've noticed those who are the most grateful and have learned to see God's work regularly show the most perseverance. Okay, Osbun ako. I've noticed those who are the most grateful and have learned to see God's work regularly show the most perseverance. Tinood, di ba? No, ako nang na-observe na katong mga tao nga mapasalamaton permanente, maura ni mga tao nga nakatuon pag tanaw, pag sudong sa mga binuhatan sa ginoo sa ilang kinabuhi regularly. And then, maupo ni mga tawhana, ang kusog mula hutay, taliwala sa pagsulay sa ilang kinabuhi. Nga naman, tungod kay sa sikig, pasalamat nila sa ginoo, ang Diyos nag-provide kanila. Grasya, kaluoy, 
aron makasurvive sila, aron maka-overcome sila sa ilang mga ginaagian karon nga arang kalisod. People will 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 always say na abalo ka, mura lagi kag wala problema. Mura lagi kag okay lang ka sa COVID. No na tarantar na lagi mintanan, ikaw wala lagi ka na tarantar nga matakdan ka. Sige gyapon kag trabaho, sige gyapon wala sila kabalo. Ang sikreto niya na inig uli gikan sa trabahoan, wala laing buhaton kun dili puno ang kasing-kasing sa pagpasalamat sa tibuok proteksyon sa Dios sa iyang kinabuhi sa tibuok adlaw na iyahang pag-ugmad sa iyahang trabahuan wala kabalo niya na ang ubang mga tao but i observe no na obserbahan gyud nako kining mga tao nga kusog mo recognize sa kaayo sa Ginoo permanenteng magrasyahan sa atong buhi nga Dios Thanksgiving is a superpower. It enables us to see past our experiences and embrace how God is moving. Tinood ni siya, no, kaning mapasalamaton nga tao, no, permanenting niyang makitaan ang kamot sa ginoo na nagalihok sa iyang kinabuhi. Not only are thankful people able to draw strength from gratitude, but they're also able to empower others with their perspective as well. Tinood na, tungod sa imong mga posts sa Facebook, tungod sa imong encouragement nga gihatag, mga positive outlook sa kinabuhi, na mo yung kasigilang na agay buhato ng gino ni ni, lili lagi tapasagdan sa gino. Kung unsa sa promise sa gino, iya yun ang pagkabuhaton sa itong kinabuhi, padayon lang ta sa pagtuo sa gino. Let's continue to believe in God. Because one day, the Lord will give us exactly what we desired in life. And kung wala ka kabalo, ngang imo din na sendan, Anna, ang nakakita din, Anna, nakabasa din sa imong post sa Facebook, mga encouraging words from the Scripture, wala ka kabalo. Kung unsa ni kadako sa ilang kinabuhi, unsa kadako ang impact ani sa ilang kinabuhi, para sa imo, it's just a normal thing. Kaya nag-post mag-iugkag mga verses sa Facebook. No? Wala ka nag-rant kung dili. Nag-post kag mga responsible na mga mga posting sa Facebook like the Word of God. And because of that, na din na encourage sa imuang posting. So dili lang ka nakadawat o kaligon gikan sa pagiging mapasalamaton. Kung dili, na din mga tao nga nakadawat po o pagligon, gikan kanimo. Gikan sa ginoo, pinaagi kanimo. Kani, ako ning statement. A person who is always thankful and grateful will always magnetize his blessings and miracles. Uulitin ko po. A person who is always thankful and grateful will always magnetize his blessings and miracles not just blessings but also miracles not just blessing but blessings not just miracle but miracles ang tao nga kanunay naga practice or naga ensayo sa pagpasalamat usa ka tao nga iyang kinabuhi ang panalangin og milagro sa Dios kanunay nakapilit sa iyahang kinabuhi. I would like to close with this. I started to make a, yes, a short research about gratitude in the life of the Jews. Gratitude in Jewish life. Brother Richard, if you are watching, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, 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 no, I was doing uh, my best to make this research. Gratitude in Jewish life. In Judaism, there is an abundance of opportunities to express such thanks as well. Kabalo ka, ang mga hudyo, usa ni sila, o dili, mauli sila ang top notcher sa mga tao na puno o pagpasalamat sa ilang kinabuhi. How grateful they are. You know, ba- ba- bakit po? Tingnan mo to. 
Nearly every prayer begins with the words, Blessed are you, Lord, our God. Tanan nilang pag-ampo, mauni ang sugod. Blessed are you, Lord, our God. Baruch ata Adonai Elohim. In Hebrew, Braka, which means blessing, shares the same root with the word for ni, berek. Berek, when we say a blessing, and all are on our knees before God. We are in a position of gratitude. Maudi ay. No? Hallelujah. Grabe yun ding mga hojo, no? Ang mga, mga Jewish people. Barok ata Adonai Elohim. Blessed are you, Lord, our God. As we go a little further with examining roots of Hebrew words, the very word for Jewish person is Yehudai in Hebrew. Yehudai or Yehudi in Hebrew has the same root as giving thanks, which is Huda in Hebrew. So instead of calling the Jewish people people of the book, linguistically it would make more sense to call them the grateful people. Wow! How I wish and pray that the word for everyone, Dabao, will be known as the grateful people. Dili lang mga bantugan na mga tao, kung dili mga tao puno sa pagpasalamat sa tanang maayong butang, sa tanang butang naghihimo sa Diyos, sa atong kinabuhi, labaw sa tanan, sa atong mga pamilya. We do not romanticize the people, but we recognize the wisdom and the value in their traditions. As we hear the popular daily Jewish prayer beginning with the words, Mode Ane Lefanetza, I give thanks before you. We take heed It expresses gratitude to God for the gift of another day. Wow. It is arguably the most appropriate manner in which to start our days. Mode ane lefanetza. I give thanks before you. Hallelujah. Therefore, let us start afresh and focus on Hakarat Hatub, recognizing the good. Say it with me. Hakarat Hatub. Hakara, Hakara, Hakara Hatub. I'm not sure with, the, with T, no, I pronounce it. No, Brother Richard, you can help me in this. Hakara Hatub. Recognizing the good. Always looking for the good in the midst of the predicament. In the midst of every trouble. In the midst of every, you know, trial. You will always look for the good that God has work in your life. Hakara hatub. Let's give thanks to the Lord today. He is worthy of all our praises. Hallelujah. I hope and pray that all of us have learned the six habits that we need to practice regularly Regularly practice giving thanks. Express gratitude regardless of the situation. And number three, praise God when all is well. Number four, learn to see how bad experiences can produce good outcomes. Number five, make gratitude a part of your interactions with other people. And number six, lean into the strength 
Hatupa. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Father, we thank you for the word that we have received from you today. And I thank you, Lord, that starting today, we will take this attitude of gratitude as our way of life. The attitude of gratitude. Hakara atup. We will always look after the good things that you are doing at present in the means, in the middle of our predicament. Daghang salamat, Gino, na ikaw ang Diyos na kanunay makikuban ka na mo. Taliwala sa amuang kalisod. Taliwala sa kalisod sa kinabuhi. Dili kami mawad anong paglaom, kundili magbaton kami o paglaom diha kanimo. Magbaton kami o pagtuo nga adunay nindot na mga butang na mahitabo sa umaabot na mga adlaw. And this is not just Lord God a wish. This is our prayer. This is our declaration. This is what we believe. That the best is yet to come in our lives. That's why every day we always declare, we always believe that the best is yet to come. The best is still coming in our lives. Salamat, Panginoon. Bless those people who have already at the edge, Lord God, of their lives. Those people who wanted to give up. Those people, Lord, whose faith started to stumble down. Whose faith, Lord God, started to leave them, oh God. Whose faith started to leave them. But Lord, today, we take our faith in you. And we fully believe and put our trust in you. That 2021 is God's turn around for all of us. There will be a twist. There will be a switch in 2021 that all of us will be amazed. Daghang salamat, Gino. Sa tanan nga naminaw karon. Sa tanan nga nakikuban ka na mo. Ikaw magapanalangin sa ilang tagsa-tagsa kapanimalay. Ikaw magapanalangin sa ilang tagsa-tagsa kapamilya. May your blessing will not just flow, but rather overflow to other people. Lord, you will be experienced in our lives, not just a well that contains water, but you are a river of life. A river that releases water. A river that releases life to other people. Nakutub sa makatilaw, sa tubig sa kinabuhi. Lord, sila magabaton o paglaom diha sa atong buhi na Diyos. Naghang salamat, O God. Thank you, Lord, for these people who have joined us today. And for those people, Lord, who wanted to surrender their lives to you. I want everyone who wanted to surrender or re-surrender your life to Jesus. I want you to pray with me today. Hallelujah. But ni mong na surrender ang imong kinabuhi nga na sa Ginoo. Posible nga nahilayo ka sa Ginoo. Posible nga nawala ka sa passing. Pero karong adlaw, dili aksidente nga nadungga ni mo ang pulong sa Ginoo. Nga ang kinabuhing mapasalamaton adunay magnet sa panalangin o sa milagro sa Diyos nga kanunay ang nagauban sa imong kinabuhi. If you want that blessing from God, if you want to have a magnet of blessings and miracles, I want you to surrender your life today. Give it to Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring to you these people who wanted to surrender their lives to you. 
but nilang isurrender ang ilang kinabuhi kanimo Dios mao karong adlaw gino kami nakikatubang kanimo kami nangayog kapasayluan sa tanang mga sala nga among nahimo sa among tagsatag sa kinabuhi sugod sukad pa kani adto sa gagmay pa kami ug hangtod karong adlaw amo kini ginapangayog pasaylo karong adlaw ginaimbita ka namo gino nga maoy mulingkod sa trono sa among kinabuhi isip ginoo manluluwas og hari sa among kinabuhi sugod so, karong adlaw dili na kami ang magabuot sa among kinabuhi kung dili ikaw nga maoy hari ikaw ang hari sa tibok namong kinabuhi ikaw ang maghuhuko sa among kinabuhi karong adlaw lord sugod so, karong adlaw dili nang among kabubuton may matuman kung dili ang imong kabubuton, mo'y matuman, dili lamang din ni sa yuta, apan bisan pa man, din ha sa langit. Dagang salamat, O Diyos. Salamat, Lord, for this wonderful day. Bless these people who pray this prayer with me today. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Dagang salamat sa inyohang pag-ubang ka na ako sa pag-ampo. Those who have prayed that prayer with me, with purity and sincerity of your hearts, you will surely receive what you have desired in the Lord. You are forgiven. You are restored back to God. And sa tanan na nag-aampo, no, na kita magabaton o kinabuhi na mapasalamaton sa tanang higayon o niya ato yun ni siyang praktison na permanente itang magpasalamat. Ginagmay man o dinagong abutang, ang tanang butang nagihatag sa Diyos ka nato atong perming pasalamatan. Ato ni praktison. No, iinsayo yun nato ni pag-ayo. So dagang salamat karong buntaga sa inyong pagpaminaw sa pulong sa gino. No, wala pa tama human. No, uh, let's uh, wait for Pastor Pao Uh, for some announcements and uh, also wait for the benediction no nga akong uh, igahatag kaninyo pagkahuman ni Pastor Rapao. Thank you Pastor Blair for the word. So thank you no for thank we thank God for the reminder for using Pastor Blair to remind us that we should be grateful and have a grateful heart as we end the year 2020. So let us choose to be grateful because we have a lot of reasons to be thankful. So instead of counting what we have lost, let's count and thank God for what we have, still have, and will have as we end 2020. So I for one know I have a lot of reasons to be thankful of. So number one is that, yes, uh, it's not, for uh, for others, it's not been a good year. But for me, no, kanitong year, no, kung kanos ang nag-pandemic, dito ko na-employ. Wherein, wala ko nang apply, pero, kana kana kung gitawagan ka sa tagiya sa company to, uh, to kanang, uh, para ma- masulod ka sa ilahang uh, team. And also, before this year ends, Nakoy testimony. So just a few days ago, ka remember mo na nagpost si Pastora Che atong uh, ana siya na before December ends, you will be in an amazing place financially. So isa ko didto sa mga nag-heart, no? And sa mga nag-type og amen. So to add fam, huwag mong minamaliit ang power of declaration. Because one day it will happen to you, and indeed, it happened to me. So just uh, last Monday, no. So naka, sure, nakadawat ang mga employees og uh, 13 months. So I was not expecting na ma-receive na ako akong whole month na worth of compensation because I've just been in the company for. Uh, six year, uh, six years, <laughs> six months. Palang ko dito. So, uh, ako na dawat. Ang computation sa ako na dawat is uh, less than sa half 
sa akong compensation which is less than sa ginadawat nako taga quincenas so pagkadawat nako sa uh, katong envelope wala sa nako gihap ang money ako lang gitan ako ang competition nya akong gibalik so pagka monday pagka balik nako ay before ko ni add to office akong giihap ang among ang akong nadawat and then to find out ni sobra shag isa kalibo so So the first thing na niabot sa akong mind is ibalik na ko ni sa office because base na mali lang og count ang koan sila sila ma'am ang ang finance. So pag abot na ko sa office, gi after an hour naka ko na ni sulod ko sa office ni 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 ma'am. So ana ko na ni drama pa ko. Ana ko. Ma'am, kanang na ako'y concern about sa 13th month. Kay atong Sabado ato, medyo emotional man good siya because there are some employees no na nag nagreklamo sa ilahang 13th month. So, abi ni ag magreklamo ko sa akong nadawatan. So, kalit lang siya na, na serious. Oh, sige, unsa man to? So, kana willing daw siya na we will talk about it kung na may problema i-recompute ba basin nga to ang yang uh, mindset ato na time na basin mo pa recompute ko or na ako'y computation na maoy gamiton para uh, pa, para maka come up ni og kanang the right amount so ni sulod na ko sa yang office sa so abi niya na mag recompute sa ako ang nadawat but to her surprise paglingkod na ko na ana dayon ko bitaw ma'am oy na no bro bitaw <laughs> akong nadawat ma'am so ipakita na ko ang iyang papel na gibutang didto ang computation niya murang nakaana siya <laughs> ay gituyo man ako na architect so nawala tong kanong katong seriousness niya ganina sa pagsulod na ako na na usab ba na ilisa no mura ko niya gigkatawa na or mura siyang naganan ay, abi na ko magreklamo siya, dili man di ay. So, ni katawa siya na, ay, gituyo mo na ako na architect. Iba sobrahan mo na ako na kay kanang round off daw niya, ana-ana. So, ako untang ibalik tong isa kalibo na sobra. Niya, yan, gibalik sa ako uh, because gituyo daw niya to na masobrahan. So, ano ko, mo ba ma'am? Oh, sige ma'am, thank you. Ana-ana, ibalik unta na ako ma'am ba kay sobra manggudang pagkaunta ko ganina morning before ko ni Anhedere. So, kato ni gawas na siyang office taud taud ni sulod si sir katong CEO na mo ni sulod sa office ni ma'am nya taud taud gipatawag ko sa ilang office gitawag ko sa isa na mo na office mate ano siya tawag daw ko ni ni sir nako patay ngano gitawag mo ko ni sir tapos sulod na ko didto nya ana siya pina joke pa na ana siya uh, gi giingon daw ni mo kay ma'am ni mo as in in a serious kanang taon ana siya giingon daw ni mo kay ma'am ni mo So ako nag-anak katawa ko because kadong last time na niya gibuhat ana siya sa among kauban na ingon daw ni mo kay mami mo unsa so, sir na ako si Superman <laughs> ano so, so nagkatawa na ko daan na unsa so, sir ano siya na sabi taw lang ga oy uh, to cut the long story short ana siya na you have been in the company for six months namang kalanga no so i will give you a raise what wow ba So, ano siya, this is uh, a something that is confidential. Uh, ayaw lang ni i-share siya. Hala, i-share ko sa inyo to. Okay lang, family man ta. <laughs> so, ano, uh, this is something confidential. So, you should not share it sa imong mga kauban. So, hopefully, wala, wala, dili ko mag-invite. Oh, wala ko nag-invite karo nag-office mate na ako. <laughs> Next Sunday na lang sila. <laughs> so, kato, uh, itagaan ko Grace and it's effective this January. So, it's a, kanang, wala pa nag-end ang tuig, pero naanay pang nalangin ang ginoo sa mo na nag-una. Di ba? It's in the Bible, di ba, na, na uh, God's blessing will overtake you. And it really happened to me. So, tinuod tong declaration ni Pastora Che na before this year ends, God will put you in a position of kanang in an amazing place financially. So, before mag-end ng 2020, naanay giandam si Lord na panalangin, dili lang sa ako ah, kundili pati po sa inyo ha, to Edfaham. Kanino yan? Akin yan! Di ba? So, kato, 
I believe it's kana nga uh, our boss way of honoring my uh, the honesty na akong gi share no just because I did that thing afterwards gi reward ko dayon sa amo ang boss so kumbaga pa it's the same as the our kanang principle nato sa paghatag nato dira sa Ginoo you know. kato kato siya na amount it's not for me kay dili to mao ang competition ang akong mindset ato gibalik na ako ang dili para sa ako ah. pero ang gibalik sa ako is gihatag to ug gipasubraan pa gitaga gitagaan ko grace and that is the same sa ato ang Ginoo give back what do not belong to you give back what is not yours and god will give it back to you a hundred folds amen ba so if my boss honored it how much more our god give back what belongs to god and give it to him with a cheerful heart give back what belongs to god and give it to him with a cheerful heart give not because you are kanang commanded to give give not because kanang somebody ask you to give or i challenge you to give but give because you are thankful sa tanang nang hitabo sa imo for this year give because you have a grateful and thankful heart diha sa Ginoo so i challenge you to and fam to give what belongs to god and give with a cheerful and expectant heart so to those who would want to give please follow the simple instructions right on this corner so you can give via online transfer or you can give via gcash or to those who would want to have it picked up for them you can text this number right on this corner so hatag na tad fam and as you give believe in your heart that god will do great and amazing things in your life but even if it will not kanang unsa may your what your expectancy what you are expecting will not happen kanang have that attitude that you will give because you are thankful sa tanang gibuhat ni Lord sa imong life give because you want to obey God give because you want to honor God amen so shout out dai sa tanang givers na to dira na padayo na naghatag sa ilahang tithes sa ilang offerings sa ilang portions and even sa ilahang pledges i believe what had happened to me will also happen to you and i declare that the blessings of god will overtake you this 2020 and the year 2021 ang panalangin sa Ginoo mugukod sa imuha ka pamilya so what time is it na ba? It's selfie time. So grab your phones and take a photo of you while watching our online streaming today. Okay, thank you for joining with us today, Twed Fam. This has been your host, Pastor Apolline, signing off. Please stay for the prayer of benediction. Happy New Year! To him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his glorious presence, both now and forevermore. And all of us will say, Amen and Amen. Happy New Year to all of you today. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless Dabao and God bless the Philippines.